to get one done early as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice to get the first one. Um, we've got uh, a few others close, but um, until they actually sign and they're in the building, um, we don't get too excited. How frustrating is it, Keith, when you're going through this process of you just want them in, but you've got to go through the process? Yeah, I don't, I don't, well, I, I'm not frustrated at the moment because um, it is still early days. Uh, we've we've had a few that have um, fallen sort of by the wayside, but that happens. And the idea is when you look at trying to bring players in that you you don't have one target. You need you need to have two or three, and if one drops away, which will happen, you go for your next one. It, the, your problem is when you you put all your eggs in one basket. That's when you, you can get frustrated and angry, and so we, we've we've missed out on a few you move on to your next one and um, and that's the process we've put in place and hopefully you'll see the rewards maybe later on in the week. With contracts coming to a close, we've talked about market length, so I don't think we need to go over that again, but Keelan Leslie, one of the young players who was given a contract for six months, where are we at with Keelan? Yeah, Keelan's, um, he's one of these lads that obviously I've inherited, um, the club gave him a six month contract. He's been unfortunate really, he's not really had a chance around the first team. Um, I look at the squad and I think it's important with young players that if their pathway is blocked then you need to think well okay then how is he going to progress his career I could have easily said to him like yeah stay for another six months but I don't think it's right for his career I think he needs to go and, and play first team football somewhere and um, and get seen it because I, I didn't see him um, being in and around the first team and, it, and it's not right young players need to go and play first team football at his age so hopefully he finds himself a club um, goes out there and proves us wrong and who knows he, he might come back here one day and, and cost us money and I know you've spoken to Jonathan Dinsey over the course of the past few days what's the situation with Jonathan? Yeah Jonathan's um, I've, sp I've, I've been speaking to Arsenal um, quite regularly just to give him an update on on where he is really. He uh, he was one of the lads, unfortunately, went down with COVID. Um, I spoke to him. I was concerned the amount of game time he's had before I got here and since I've been here. And I, and I know Jonathan when, when we was at Tottenham together. So I was speaking to Arsenal and said to them, not sure how much game time uh, he, he's obviously here to fight for his place, like everyone is, but he, he hadn't had enough game time and his contract was running out at Arsenal and um, he needs to play football from now to the end of the season for his own career. So again, he's one that you think, well, is it right to keep him here? Um, he's a London lad, a long way from home, not playing, and it's difficult. So it, I think it was the right thing to do and he understood and, and Arsenal did. Because without saying he goes and Keelan, they go with our best wishes. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they were good to work with. Um, it's always harder when players leave that you sort of get on well with. Sometimes it's not always the case. Um, so you try to explain to them the reasons why you're doing it and you try to make it that it, it's for their own, their own good really. And it's not a selfish reason, it's a reason that I'm trying to help them sort of get their careers going. <laughs>